Hey everybody, welcome back to Live Free and Tool On. You may not know this, but I always look for deals, and even if that means I take the deals and I have to do a little bit of work, where there's a little bit of mystery, I always do that. I have seven kids, so I really do need to do that. So let's check out something that I did. This right here is, sorry, this was sitting in the tractor supply yard and it was just full of parts and they said that they would give it to me for 75% off. I just had to find all the parts and I had to put it back together. Now, here's the interesting part. So when I tried to put it all together, this is the cross arm. This is a dump cart. You can see that I'm missing. This is the pivot lever so it can actually dump. You have the latch that goes here, it comes off. So I have a gap here and I need to solve for that. So zoom in and I'm gonna tell you what I'm going to do to make it work. So the reason why it looks like this is that this is a dump and pivot. So it can pivot here and it pivots here. Um, for my purposes, I'm actually gonna cut this off right here. I'm gonna weld it right here. And I'm gonna, this is two inch stock, square stock. I'm gonna weld a piece of two inch square stock onto here. And then it's gonna go all the way to here. I'm gonna uh, drill through it here so it has a pivot. So I'm gonna not do a dump and pivot, just a regular dump, but uh, just a little bit of sweat equity into this compared to if I bought it brand new, you know, I would've paid a lot more. So hang on to the ride. Let's go ahead and jump into it. This cut was made with the Steel Demon Diablo blade. I'm on the seven and a quarter inch chop saw made by Ryobi. It runs off of an 18 volt battery. Okay, so the next thing I gotta do now that I have this welded up is I have to put this arm on. And you can see I'm missing a lot, but I have to make sure it can get de-latched. So right here is just about perfect. And I don't want it to be all the way there because it has to pivot. So this is eight inches exactly. So I need to cut the angle steel that I have eight inches to make it from here to here. And I'm gonna do a butt weld, a butt weld, and then uh, we'll just connect it up. All right, so the welds aren't the greatest in the world, but I was able to get it all together and it will most certainly hold just fine. So now we need to place it on the trailer and then drill the holes and then we should be uh, pretty set to go. Okay, so everything is together. The bolt goes through, this is welded, these are welded. Uh, so we're gonna put this on here and we're gonna to do two bolts to make sure it stays tight. You don't wanna tighten this down because you want it to be able to move and dump still. So we're just gonna get it to where it's... All right, so this is good. You don't wanna tighten it, like I said. And then what we'll do is we'll just tighten these two against each other so they lock. Okay, so here we go. Okay, everybody, so that's it, it works. I finally got everything working on it, welded it up. There's no problems, had to fabricate a couple pins, but uh, all is well. So just goes to show, if you wanna try and uh, save a buck, uh, can create a, I don't know, a fix yourself, then it's worth it at the end of the day. This one I say $400, so that's pretty awesome. Anyways, hope that you all enjoyed the video. If you did, please hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe. We'll see you in the next one.